What's up guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be cleaning my beauty room, filming room, whatever you wanna call it. This is the space that I film all of my makeup tutorials in. It is the space in the house that gets the messiest just because I'm constantly going through makeup, going through different products, going through clothes, pretty much anything work related that you see here ends up in this room. So it just becomes a disaster. So we are gonna go through clean up everything. I'm gonna sort of share my thought process with you and how I clean stuff um, because it can be a little overwhelming. So yeah, I hope you like this video. Please subscribe and let's go clean. This is my filming room. That's just like a bunch of boxes I'm doing a clothing try on haul. So that's everything I've ordered. These are all like summer clothes that I need to put up in the attic. This is a bunch of new stuff I've gotten and I've like shown on camera, but I haven't put away. So I need to organize that. These two bins are filled with product. The top one is like skincare and hair care and I'm keeping everything. I just have to store it. So in this closet here, I still don't have a shelf. Ruben has it made, but it just needs to be put up. I need to go through and organize all of my makeup again. I've done it so many different times, but you know what's really holding me back is the lips. So I've got, like, this is all full of lips. This is all full of lips. 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 And guess what? I wear maybe 10 lipsticks total. I wear more lip liners than anything. So I need to go through all of that. I mean, the majority of it is probably expired, honestly, but I need to go through it all just so that I can actually utilize this space for all this stuff and just make it make sense. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna be working on. I'm gonna put some music over this. Start by putting the categories together. So I like to put foundations with foundations. Concealers with concealers, put them in little clusters. And then I'm gonna grab all my brushes and put them away. So each of these are kind of categorized and I know where the brushes go, but I kind of need to like redo them just because it's gotten so messy. So what are you? Lipsticks together, concealer, eye brush, face brush. Mascara, old mascara that can go on the ground back here. Uh, cream highlighter, starting a new category. that have to go up in the attic. They're just laying on my bed right now because I want Ruben's help just getting into the attic and I know it's kind of a mess right now. So I just need his help getting a bin, all that kind of stuff. Um, and then I took all of the 
boxes that were here broke them down and hung up all of the clothes that were in the boxes for my clothing haul put them in the closet i showed you that this right here is all garbage and like recycling right here that box back there is returns for zara returns for qvc returns for revolve so those are just my returns garbage and over here i have just makeup that i need to sort and put away all of those bins i've got some hot tools that i just got in the mail and then i already explained those those are just bins of more makeup and skincare and hair care that i need to go through and put away so i still have to do this it's all organized in its own categories this one actually needs to go over here and this needs to go here Okay, so it's been a couple days since I filmed that last little portion of me doing like the major cleaning part and I thought that I would show you where we're at now and then continue this. So I took out the rug and I didn't film it and I'm glad I didn't because it was pretty embarrassing the way that I did it. You know, I just, here's the rug here. I just have it laying here and then I just vacuumed, so. So I took the rug out. I mean, I really like the fact that it would help absorb the sound. I do like that, but it was just way too big. If I get another rug in here, it's gonna have to be like a five by seven maximum size just to go underneath the table and the chair, but, um, or bench, whatever. But it came like pretty far out and then took up that whole space. So I mean, it was nice because all of my equipment was on it and it was fine, but it was just, I don't know, it was cramping my style. So I took it out and it feels really fresh and clean in here. I do still need to get blinds. We just have the paper ones because window treatments are expensive. So if you have a recommendation for curtains or like curtain panels, I just want like a rod on the top, either a black rod or a wooden rod with white, like, I don't know if I want them to be linen or what, but just like, just nice white curtains, nothing sheer, so that when I am filming, I can draw those shut if I need to, or if I want. So over here, I have my tripod. That white bin has like storage stuff. The top one is a gift. And then these are all like makeup bags that I'm not using. And then I think that's like a wedding planner, which I should actually utilize because I'm awful at wedding planning. So I haven't really touched all of this. All I pretty much worked on in here was the room and the space in here and getting all of this cleared out. So here is mainly what I'm focusing on today. And once I go through this and this is all set, then I can go through this and put this in this. Let's go. I use a lot of these lipsticks right here and in this section, but the stuff back here, I don't even know what's back here. I use this top drawer and this drawer, and then the rest, I think I kind of like dibble dabble in there. So we're gonna go through all of this now and see what's uh, what I'm gonna keep, what I'm gonna toss because it's expired, and what gets donated to someone else. And I just grabbed that empty box that had the shoes in it. I'm gonna put this here on the ground. So anything that's like used that I'm gonna give to friends, I'll just put here in this box. And then I've got another one here that I can put like trash in or um, like expired lipsticks in. See like these are all YSL lipsticks. I don't have a hoarding problem. I actually have a throwaway problem. I love just like getting rid of stuff, donating stuff and not having a lot of stuff in the house. But this, this is nostalgic to me. This is like, I have a feeling when I'm, when I'm looking at this. All the YSL is just gonna get saved for last.
my gosh, this is so gross. I've never come across something like this before. I mean, this has been in there for like years. So I just had a thought. I always keep like my favorite go-to products here on the desk and I don't like that it's like just sitting on the table. I might grab that one, the empty one, put it on the desk so I can put like my favorite bronzers, highlighters, foundations in there and it won't take up too much space. The only thing about that though that I don't like is that then they won't be even, but maybe I could just put that acrylic one on the left and center it in between the two. I know that's not a big deal, but in my brain it will bother me. So I think I'm gonna do that. Once I put everything in here, I am gonna have to take it out and like clean this because it's so dirty. But um, I think I'm just gonna get the stuff in here for now just so I have an idea. I think this is gonna be really helpful. Favorite foundations up top. This is gonna be amazing. I'm already so excited. All right, we'll do face primers. Let's do the pretty highlighter packaging. Bronzers. Oof. How did everything fit so perfectly? I am confused. I'm so excited though. All of that just like worked out. This is gonna be awesome. Okay, so I think I need to go through all this stuff now too. This is gonna have to go over here. So let me just move some stuff around. I do need to go through this and condense it because there's way too much stuff in here. So I'm going to just move this one by one over here. I have six nude liner pencils just in my go-to liners. And I think they all need to stay. I think I'm taking away like half. So these are all the things I'm going to be getting rid of. Pretty much it's either I don't like the product or the color isn't right. So a lot of these, it's the color with the concealer. I had like three different Tarte Shape Tapes all in different shades. Same with the Makeup Forever one. I actually recently got this and it's like so yellow for my skin. Um, <laughs> and then I had the exact opposite effect with these ColourPop concealers. They're so light. Look at them in comparison to everything else. They're so much lighter and more pink. Um, I had two of these um, luminous silk foundations. I have two of these hourglass veil powders and I really don't like them. They make me look too oily. I had like three Born This Way foundations. Um, I decided I really don't like the NARS foundation. This is, you know, I might, mm, I might keep this. He, I use him every now and then, like every now and then. Um, yeah, these I didn't like. Amanda will actually really like those. I know she loves that uh, foundation. 
Um, so then over here, I'm keeping this. I actually already have one of these over on the desk in the lighter shade. This is the darker shade. I have two Anastasia foundations here, and I do have one over there. I'm keeping three of this foundation just because I think it's one of my top like three foundations ever, so it can stay. And then just like a bunch of random ones. I have um, two Born This Way regular foundations, one Born This Way matte, uh, Tarte Double Duty foundation, I've got a La Mer Tinted Moisturizer, I've got Luminous Silk, Lasting Silk, and the Power Fabric foundation from Giorgio Armani. I have the uh, Chanel Vita La Mer Aqua foundation, um, Maybelline Matte and Poreless, YSL All Hours Foundation, Shiseido Foundation, and then two of the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Foundations, one in shade 9 and one in shade 11. A backup concealer of my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. I've got my Bare Minerals Matte and Bare Minerals Original. And then these are the concealers that I'm keeping. Um, I'm not going to name them all. You can just take a look. These are some of my favorites. I also have other favorites over on the vanity there, or desk, whatever. And then... These are some powders. So this is a backup of the translucent powder from Laura Mercier, which is my favorite. And then these are three other powders that I try from time to time. These are sponges, which I have more that I need to bring over here. I never use sponges, but I feel like I need to keep them just because. Like, what if I randomly want to use a sponge? Where did I put those? I just shoved the sponges back there because I've just never, ever used them. This is everything I'm giving away here. Both of these box, or I guess that's three boxes. Um, this plastic bag, this case here, those flat irons and curling irons, and that little white thing thing. That's all the garbage. The only bin in here that I'm keeping full of stuff is that one, and it will go on the shelf that will go in there. This is empty, it's gonna go downstairs with all of this stuff. I should actually transfer that stuff into here. Finally done. This is the after. I still have to sweep and wash the floors and baseboards and windows. And I also got to wipe down that acrylic case thing and wash my brushes. But overall, this room is clean and complete. So there's nothing on the floors. It's all super empty. I'm in love with just how empty it is in here because I feel like this space gets really cluttered very easily. Um, not even very easily, it just automatically gets full of makeup when I film. So having just an empty space around me makes it still feel clean even when it's messy. So I'm gonna go over what I have here on my table. I'm also gonna share my equipment just because I know you guys are gonna ask and I know you're gonna be wondering about it. Um, I'm gonna actually start with this mat because I've posted this room on Instagram stories multiple times and every single time the number one question I get is what is this what's it used for and where can you get it which I was just surprised that you guys were even that interested in it um, this is basically a reflector so when the lights are on it will bounce light off of this and put the light underneath my chin so I don't have a shadow under my chin um, it also kind of diffuses the sound when I put products down since my microphone is right here. So you can get professional ones on Amazon or any camera store, but I actually, this, mine is not that, this is actually a snow, what's it called? This goes on your windshield, these go around your mirrors so that when it snows, you can just take this off so you don't have to like shovel the snow. It does the same trick as a regular reflector. So that's what I have. I'll actually link this below along with like normal ones. You don't need the one that I have, um, but that's just the one I have. And then uh, my table is from the at home store. This is from, uh, I think Wayfair. It's a piece of crap. 
don't get it. Table is great, very great, and it's a dupe for one from, I think, Pottery Barn, but for a fraction of the price. But this is a piece of shit. I really wanna replace it. Um, this was a gift from NYX. You could probably find it on Amazon. I'll link something similar. Mira's from Amazon. Those organizers are from Amazon. And all of my lighting you can get on Amazon too, actually. Actually, all of my equipment you can. So these lights here, the pack of these two square softbox lights, you can get, I think, for like $70 total. Um, they're just, make sure you get the daylight bulbs. And then the ring light, um, it's just a diva ring light. I'll link that too. This was probably my most expensive light. This lights up the background of the videos. And then the stand is also from Amazon. And then the TV. So I get a lot of questions on why I have a TV in here. My specific camera does not have a viewfinder, so I have to use a TV. Um, but it's so obnoxious and I don't like it actually. I've hated it ever since I got it just because my previous camera had a flip out screen. And I liked that just because it didn't distract me. This distracts me and it like covers up the window and I just don't like it. So they do have some that are smaller that I know I could hook up top to the camera. I just have to find one. So if you are a camera guru and you know all about that stuff, please recommend one to me because that screen is just so obnoxious and I, I don't like it. Um, I do film with the Canon 5D Mark IV, and I have a separate lens. This isn't the kit lens, so I'll link this, le this lens down below specifically. I do really want to get a different lens, though, just because this one only zooms in so much, and one of the number one critiques I get from you guys is that my videos, when I do tutorials, are not zoomed in enough, but I'm literally zoomed in all the way, and I'm as close as I can possibly be to the camera, so I just need to get a new lens. It's just very, very, very expensive. So that's on my list. But I ended up putting some of my go-to products in here, and so far it's been great. It's been just a day or two, and it's really nice. This is something I can totally like switch out the products and depending on my mood or what I'm loving at the moment, but this is gonna be so helpful. I've got my microphone here, my mirror, and then my remote. And then these are all of my like go-to brushes. All of the eye brushes are up top. Face brushes are in this cup. This cup is actually a free cup that I got with my Beauty Insider points from Sephora. And then these are like my go-to, more go-to products. So go-to brows, go-to liners, go-to mascaras, primer, and lip liners. This I will link as well. This vase is from Pottery Barn. The book is the Architectural Digest book I got from Amazon. Table is from CB2, took 10 years to get here. And now, the closet. So, I still need to get the shelf up here because this bag I'd like to put in a basket and put the baskets up there. This bag is just filled with pallets. Um, these are the pallets that are like influencer pallets or just old discontinued pallets that like I don't really use on camera anymore, but they're nostalgic to me, so I wanna keep them. Over here, I just have my tripod and this is my makeup bag for traveling. This is a gift. This is a mirror in case I have like someone else come over and film, pretty much just Amanda. Um, and then I just have random like notebooks and stuff. These are backup brushes that I don't use all the time, but I just keep them. This is just a little storage box of like tech equipment. And then these are all of my favorite go-to lipsticks, mainly from this one up are my favorites and my go-tos. And then, um, so here I've got like a bunch of the Tom Ford ones and the Patrick Ta ones. Uh, I got two drawers of MAC because MAC has the best lipsticks. Then all of these are YSL. This was the only brand of lip products that I kept a bunch of that's very unnecessary and then over here I've got Becca ones because those are very beautiful it's a very beautiful formula and then down here I've got some color pop these are the only lip glosses I kept thank you Lord for helping me get rid of so many lip glosses I you guys I just don't wear lip gloss so and I had 
so much lip gloss that I just was not wearing so it just did not make sense so I got rid of pretty much all of them because if I'm ever gonna wear lip gloss one of these will work these are all my lip balms I wear those more than anything this is a lip drawer so these are all of my lip liners and these are more lip liners I've got all of my dose of colors liquid lipsticks I'm not even like a huge liquid lipstick fan anymore but that formula I can get down with these are my Fenty liquid lipsticks and two Smashbox, Smashbox ones. And then this is the only other lip drawer. I've got Bare Minerals liquid lipsticks. That's a very similar like moussey formula. Makeup Geek liquid lipsticks. Random assortment of lip products that I only have like one of. My Tarte Rainforest of the Sea lipsticks. L'Oreal and Revlon. These are glitter eyeshadows and stuff. I don't really use these that much, but I have them just in case. I bet I'll whip some of these out for like holiday looks coming up. And then I've got a bunch of rhinestones here on the side. But these are all of my face palettes. So, I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> Primers and setting sprays. This is my tanning stuff and my Sigma brush cleaner. And then this is back stock of skincare stuff. Okay, we're gonna work our way up because I'm all the way down here. So this is back stock of hair care stuff. These are makeup palettes that I don't reach for all the time, but I see myself using them in the near future. These are makeup palettes that I can see myself using in the closer near future, if that makes sense. Also consists of some of my favorites. This is all my foundations. These are my concealers. My lashes drawer. It's actually pretty darn organized. These are just new ones that just came in and I placed them on the top, but underneath I have them all organized and stuff. Probably the drawer I go to the most because it has a lot of my go-to products, so extra mascaras and brow products. I like switching out my brow products and trying different things, so that's what this is. And then these are different like moisturizers and stuff like that. This is all of my bronzer. These are all blushes. And lastly, certain, certainly not least, these are all of my highlighters. for this video thank you so much for watching me clean my filming room i feel like this is such a weird concept but people really seem to like cleaning stuff and i can see why it's very satisfying to watch and kind of motivating to clean your own space so um that's why i watch these videos so i hope that this was somewhat inspiring to see a disaster go to pretty empty uh thank you guys so much for watching this please subscribe uh don't forget to check out the playlist where i show more of my cleaning stuff down below and that's it thanks for watching and i'll see you soon bye